Alright guys, what's up? It's Apollo here. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Third Age Total War Reforged. A lot of you guys thought I just left it, right? It's like, oh, Apollo's not doing Third Age anymore. No, I still am. I'm just waiting for some epic scenarios. And here we go. We got an epic one. This one, of course, is made by Sin of the Dark Cloud. We got a little mining situation here where the dwarves, they've got this beautiful mine. It's called the Khazad Mine. Very rich, very wealthy. And the orcs, the orcs want a piece of that cash, that cash money. Uh, so they are charging uh, for these, uh, these mines here. Uh, there's a really cool outer defense uh, that is going to be defended by two armies, two players. Got some really cool walls here. A really nice vantage point for the Dwarven skirmishers. Uh, they also have some nice uh, positioning in the back of the mine as well. Uh, so you can see that there's basically two choke points. The players are going to have to hold there as long as possible. And over on the other side, we also have another invading force as well. So real quick, let's look at these army comps. Oh, one more thing before we do... Oh, excuse me, I just bit on my tongue. But <laughs> one more thing before we do that I wanted to let you know that there is some role play in this one so there are miners scattered around the mines uh, go figure right uh, they have to stay alive if they all die then it's game over for the defenders because obviously if they don't have miners then they can't get the resources so a little fun little uh, twist there but anyways let's look at the army cops we're gonna start with the attackers so there's three attackers the first army here we have the orcs of the misty mountains commanded by crimson so yeah he's got a great force here of goblins and whatnot uh, the next army is located over here in the back corner we've got J monster he is also going as the orcs of the misty mountains which I believe it's all orcs of the misty mountains because you know they hate oh wait no I'm just kidding we've got another attacking army wait I'm blown away holy crap I thought this was one player no we've got another player commanded uh, or the orcs commanded by cannon fodder so good old cannon fodder he is on the battlefield bringing a pretty nasty force so yeah lots of orcs guys just the way you like it I know you guys I know you guys too well way over here we do have I believe just one player yes indeed we've got sin of the dark cloud the creator of this scenario in this battle so once again he's actually going as the orcs of Gundabai. oh what do we have here look at these guys troll sword troll swords wow look at these guys that is awesome they look great it's almost like they all forgot their uh their leg armor. They're like, oh, I'm totally decked out. Don't worry. They you, you know, dwarves that are super short and can't reach the top parts of our bodies. Yeah, no. Don't worry about the legs. They're, just go for the upper arm. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, Gundabad forces. So let's look at the dwarves really quick. So the dwarves, they are... Uh, let's see. The first army is commanded by Stefan. He has... Some orc hunters, very fitting name, very fitting unit, because, uh, well, he's gonna be needing to hunt a lot of orcs today. Got some warriors, got some first legion shield guards, so you are seeing some new units. By the way, guys, this is a bit of a test patch of what's gonna come out for uh, the next patch that's coming out. Uh, so this is not like anything official, but it's a little sneak peek to what is to come. Uh, now, the other defending Dwarven player is, uh, War- wait, no, it's WK, okay. I was like, Warriors of Casa Doom, I was like, that's his player name? Uh, but no, WK, he's also bringing, obviously, a very similar army, uh, so, yeah, he's gonna use these excellent Dwarves who are just really skilled in melee, they're gonna handle themselves very nicely. So, let's go back to normal speed, and start the bloodshed, and look at this, you got your first, your first horde of forces pushing in. Uh, the crimson the crimson player throwing in his goblin infantry. So these guys aren't going to be too good. Look at the officer. Look at the officer leader. That's pretty sweet. I've never seen him before. I don't know. He's decked out. But I'm sure he's a little disappointed. He's, le he's leading the lowly, you know, goblin infantry. There we go. Our first infantry clash. Meanwhile, we had archers spraying down arrows from those great cliffs above. Oh, look at that. They just poured right on through. Finding a gap in the lines. And they are going around. And going after the uh, warriors here of Khazad Doom. Most likely trying to get around the Sons of the Fallen. 
and trying to outflank them. And Sons of the Fallen, they're struggling right now. They might want to push up more troops uh, and just really secure the flank. I mean, head on, the Sons of the Fallen are fine. But if they're outflanked, that could cause some issues. And there's a couple of goblins scattered here and there. And sure enough, he is pushing forward some more dwarves into the front, uh, front rank. Let's see what's going on over here. Is there, is there a way to get around? <gasps> there is another way. Oh, goblin infantry. It's pretty much the same kind of squad over on the other side, setting in the same type of forces. Uh, but we've got a lot of dwarves ready for the Sons of the Fallen. We've got the first Legion Shield Guard. So, yeah, they're going to be ready to defend this. And I doubt, I doubt, at least not in this first wave here, that they're going to be able to push through this uh, th th through this choke point. But, but they're keeping them distracted. And that's really what's most important. In fact, they're not even going in. That might not be a terrible idea. If they had a couple archers over here, because I don't really see any dwarven archers firing back he does have some reclaimers which is like a javelin axe throwing you know short range missile type troop uh, but look at that's actually pretty smart going after one unit instead of both of them but if i was the dwarven player i would just send them up and yeah there he goes yeah exactly send them up and get them in, involved there we go and the goblins are going to go ahead and counter counter charge them there while they were moving forward very cool very cool uh, so while this uh, little show, oh look at that! Look at this view. This guy's got the best view in the house. Uh, but yeah, while that's going on, well, let's go ahead and just kind of, kind of look at this map here in this area because we didn't really get to do that. But it's a pretty basic map, right? Uh, you got some pretty cool looking mines here where they store their jewels and mithril. I don't know what they're mining for, but you know they probably live in these huts and. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And then maybe scouts reported armies were advancing on their position, and so they marched in an army to help defend the mines. I'm sure every mine would have a small garrison force to defend it, but nothing of this scale, obviously, as they uh, defend this mine. You know, they don't expect... You know, if anything, you would expect, like, a raid, you know? A quick raid to go in, steal some cash. But, uh, yeah, nothing of this scale, so that's probably why they had to send in their forces and there we go this is what I was hoping for the goblins just getting decimated here but uh, the goblins are now using their brains a little bit you know they do have some brains or hopefully uh, and they are firing down some arrows and trying to soften up the sons of the fallen so while that's going on let's go back to over to the juicy one by the way guys <laughs> dang it dang it I was just gonna say by the way I am still kind of sick. I'm, I'm feeling about 93%, which I think is good enough to record without hearing too much of the, you know, like, <laughs> sounds in the background, because nobody wants to hear that, all right? So if I cough or something, I'll try to edit it out. <laughs> but, you know, I'm pretty terrible at doing stuff like that. Like, I always forget to edit out parts where I, either I mess up or or something so yeah I probably shouldn't promise that but look at that massive break there the dwarves I mean there's no surprise this is a large dwarven dwarven force just destroying the goblin infantry and the dwarves are gonna go ahead and pursue them actually they're gonna hold their ground here and fall back which is the smart thing to do you don't want to do that also I noticed that a lot of archers here well I was gonna say that a lot of archers here really are conserving their ammo but I did that you can see a trail of dead troops which means they did get hit by quite a bit a lot of by you know quite a bit of arrows so maybe he's not super conserved but it, it's it's actually really smart that he does conserve some ammo because you know he wants to save it for the later stages of the battle but here we go we've got another push here that I did not even see uh, by see J monster throwing in some goblin infantry mixed in with some mountain orc berserkers dwarves are now now that the you know now that the enemy has charged forward some infantry instead of just you know sitting back and getting hit with arrows he's now feeling confident of sending back it in more dwarven infantry to help hold against these orc scum not today not today orcs you're gonna die 
And they are gonna die. I mean, I can't say about the dwarves. I mean, I can say for sure. Like, I can't say who's gonna win this battle, but I can say for sure that all these orcs right here, probably gonna die. Same thing, same thing about these dwarves right here. All these people you'll see on the screen probably are all gonna be dead by the end of the video. How does that make you feel? You know, you ever watch those, like, videos from, like, a long time ago? Like, maybe you see a sporting event from, like, the... I don't know, from, like, the 30s or 20s. And you see all those people in the arena and you think to yourself, all those people there are dead. They're all dead. That's kind of how I feel about this. All these guys are going to die. I mean, I can't say that for certainty, but it's most likely that all of them... I mean, come on, guys. We're playing Total War. And in terms of, like, survivability in battles is not historically aligned. You know, most of the time, like... You know, most of the time, armies would retreat as soon as they felt like they were losing and regroup and fight another day. Well, in Total War, it's all about that, like, fight to the death, boys. And, uh, well, a lot of people die in these battles. So that's just how it is in this virtual reality, I guess. I guess so. All right, so let's see what's going on. I see some troop movement. Oh, yeah, we've got some heavy goblin halberds making their way, but they're going to need a lot more than that. Uh, yeah, they're gonna need a ton more. They might want to send some archers, maybe some sworded infantry to support the halberds. But one unit is not gonna do a ton there. He might send over more. Let's not forget, guys, we got trolls. Look at this guy. We got trolls, uh, in reserve and really, really elite units. So, yeah. Uh, there he's still- Oh! Speaking of trolls, they just sent in a bunch of trolls there. Also, it seems like the breaking- is a little bit more common which is actually really cool because one of the biggest issues that I felt about reforged is the fact that every single soldier had infinite morale you know like even the lowest of the low uh, but no it seems like it's a little bit more balanced now on the dwarven side we're just seeing like elites and elites so they're not quite breaking uh, but we do have... Oh, look at these guys. Wait, First Legion Pipe. Centuries of Khazad-dum. That is an awesome looking unit. Look at the shields on the back. <gasps> wow! First Legion. Or is it... Yeah, it's the First Legion. That's why they have the one. That's awesome! That's really cool. So is this a new Dwarven... I guess this is just a Khazad-dum faction. Like Moria, essentially. Dwarves of Khazad-dum. Wait, no, is that a new? I don't think that's a new. Dwarves of Khazad Doom, yeah. Yeah, this has got to be new, right? I don't remember that in the older Total War. I don't, I can't remember. It's all blur now. My brain is still foggy from the sickness. Uh, but over on the other side, it's still pretty peaceful. Uh, Sin is taking his time. I think he's being very strategic about it because it's only him. You know, there's only his army. And, the, you know, the rest of his allies, there's three of them, so they can kind of go, you know, a little aggressive there. Uh, but, oh, look at that view. That's pretty cool. Very cool. So, yeah, they're throwing in their stuff. They're charging into battle. It's a pretty cool shot right here where you can see the soldiers fighting. And in the background, you've got the mining equipment, their huts. And there they go. They're falling back. I love the ones on those shields. That is pretty freaking cool. Back over here, we do have some reinforcements. What is this? We got Goblin Infantry. There we go. So he's going to send in the same unit as before, but mixed in with the Halberds. Now, are they getting sh uh, fired upon? Let's see. Uh, No? By the way, they haven't put in the uh, flag design, so it kind of just looks like they're surrendering or breaking. Yeah, so that's not the case. Just a little heads up there. But yeah, they are firing now. They are firing now. And I wouldn't even waste my shots going after the Goblin Infantry. I'd go for those Halberds. A little bit more threatening. But we are seeing a lot more troops streaming in. And the longer they wait here, the more troops are dying, obviously, because of the kill zone. The fact that these dwarves can just sit back, relax, and shoot some arrows at the enemy. I mean, that's the dream job, right? At this time... In this type of scenario, just be an archer on a giant cliff where nobody can hurt you. 
<laughs> Live in the dream, boys. Live in the dream. Hey, even up here is even better. Look at this. Holy crap. That's awesome. Come on, fire down, boys. Fire down. You are the men of Cousin Doom. All right, there we go. Uh, back over here, Sin is getting dangerously close. Uh, he's got his men in loose formation for obvious reasons because of the archers on the hit, on the um, cliff. So he might just, you know, basically what he wants to do is get hug this cliff so the archers have a diff more difficult time firing down and to just get some men into melee as quickly as possible. But of course, there's a lot of dwarves waiting for them. Now we got the first Legion Shield Guard. They've got a W looking symbol on their shields, which looks really cool. Sons of the Fallen. They've got Infantry Reserve. First Legion Pikes. They've got some Warriors of Kaza Doom. So they're well equipped, ready to hold here. Let's go back over to the other side, though. Seems like things have slowed down here once again. Oh, no, well, kind of slowed down. There's still a Goblin Infantry Force that's pushing pretty hard here. Uh, but, you know, the Goblins being the Goblins that they are, they're going to go ahead and just risk the friendly fire, which, look at that. They're getting a ton there uh, to try to kill these dwarves. You know, I mean, that's goblins for you. That's the advantage. You, you just have so many of them, and their lives do not matter. Orc lives do not matter. And that includes goblins, because they're virtually the same thing. Same thing, different name. I don't want to hear it. There we go. More dwarves coming in to reinforce. So, oh, oh. Am I hearing axes being tossed in? Uh, I don't think so. It sounded like I heard a like whoop, whoop, whoop sound. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, but yeah, now they're really pushing on this side pretty aggressively. Uh, because, I mean, that's what it's going to take to win this battle. It's a battle of attrition. And it's all about just breaking through slowly. And... The way these types of battles play out is that the players eventually will stop committing troops because they realize they're holding too many spots to be effective. Uh, because they are outnumbered, they are, you know, most likely had less money than the attackers. They've got to rely on strategic positioning. And if you're starting to get to the point where you're stretching out your forces too, too, too much, it's just going to make you too weak. So you got to fall back to... Uh, tighter positions essentially but there we go now we got some axes over here and i still get hesitant that this is going to crash my game because for the longest time standard third age if you had like axe throwers they would crash your game so when i see this i die a little bit inside because i'm like oh god please don't crash uh but it doesn't it doesn't it still haunts the back of my mind uh but yeah the axe throwers are doing a good job here throwing in uh, some axes and already just look at that weakening the numbers here it seemed like a matter of seconds this orc force was like killed to half their size size sorry i'm still i'm still scattered brain from my flu that i had which getting you know getting sick sucks so much i'm such a big baby when it comes to it because i just feel like crap all the time and it's you, you know we don't want to feel like crap, humans, when I say we. So it just sucks, and you just want to chill and relax and, and like, record and play video games, but you feel like complete garbage. Ugh, it's the worst. It is the worst. Though, one good thing is that I did not get a sore throat, so that's, like, what I hate more than anything. The fact that I can't even swallow. Like, damn it. It hurts to swallow. Ugh. I gotta be careful of my words here, though. <laughs> but, yeah. I was sick for a good four days. I still feel a little, like, sweaty. <laughs> I don't... That's kind of gross. But I do. I, I feel a little sweaty because I'm sweating it out. And, uh... But I feel like, you know, I can carry on with my normal activities without feeling 100% crap. But, yeah, I hate being sick. And I've been sick three times in eight months three times in eight months every four months i'm getting sick so that makes me think that i'm dying i don't know maybe i've got some some underlying cause that's 
getting me sick and maybe I've I'm gonna be dead soon so anyways back to the battle I'm just kidding guys who knows who knows though but for real life is fragile enjoy it okay but yes anyway <laughs> okay seriously though but seriously life is fragile all right but yeah the orcs are just slamming in their heavy goblin infantry mix it with some archers look at that they are just they're going for the push right here and my god is it just raining down arrows the dwarves are losing a lot of men the orcs are losing a lot of men too but it doesn't matter because the orcs they've got the numbers let's go to, over to the other side where sin has now uh, decided to push in his troops and remember he's gundabad that's probably why he's tacking from a different angle because he you know comes from a different location uh-oh the trolls that brought no bottom armor <laughs> against dwarves too i love that there they go they're charging in like we don't need leg armor very nice just disrupting these formations got some pretty cool infantry the black watch legion coming in here oh my god they're just ripping through the dwarven lines holy crap look at that those massive shields just ripping through their lines and the dwarves can do nothing about it nothing about it is there another entry point no there's just one one way of entering this position so let's go back over here where it looks like this might be the location of where the dwarves might break first against the, the goblins and it's really it's getting kind of hard unless my sick eyes deceive me but it's getting really hard to tell like what's dead and what's alive because they're all camouflaged in here bunch of dead trolls over here it's kind of sad sad let's go back over here are they still committing troops to this side they are not and the dwarves stand victoriously uh, but this is a side they've got to continue to commit to um, even though there's a lot of archers over here putting down a lot of firepower they've got to send something because like I said earlier you got to keep these guys occupied because what he'll be able to do is send reinforcements over to the other side and continue to reinforce this line which by the way that is what they are doing we got some look at those pikes too they're like axe pikes like could you imagine how heavy that would be holy crap that's pretty cool though they look cool that's all that matters right Let's go back over to uh, Sin's side because he was making some good progress and sure enough, he still is. Oh yeah, look at that. Sin going in. With those trolls. So what I noticed with my audience... Well, first off, you guys really like Third Age. There's no denying that. <laughs> Uh, I think that's the only thing you honestly care about on my channel. At least these days, because anything else I upload does terrible. And I don't think that's necessarily... I don't know what it is, guys. Honestly, like, I used to upload 1212 or Napoleon, and they would do, like, 80,000 views. 1212 would get 100,000 all the time. Uh, but it seems like only third age is the game that's doing well on my channel. So I will continue to upload it, but that's not gonna stop me from doing other games that I'm enjoying. So if you're worried that I'm only gonna uplo upload Third Age, that is incorrect. That is a great way to destroy a channel and a person's will to, a uh, person's uh, will to live. Uh, so <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, more and more orcs coming in. Sin, be really aggressive here. But what I was gonna say, what I noticed about Third Age is that, you know what, I forgot. I forgot because I, I I went on about Third Age being my favorite, like, fan favorite. Uh, I don't remember. Dang it! I'm the worst! But yeah, here comes Pikes now. Look at that. Sin is just being relentless as hell. And he is uh, sending back some Witch Whelm Scourge Raiders. Going after these Reclaimers. So he's doing a good job here of just breaking through the lines. 
let's go back over to the other side and you can see this is the town center obviously they've got a hold here but the bad thing about this town center is that it's going to be really hard to defend because it's wide open so if they all have to fall back and defend this area they're going to be sitting ducks for archers they're still holding pretty well over here reinforcing it with those dwarves back over to this side uh nothing going on there so i still think they should send small parties this way but maybe not i guess they're just gonna hold back here you know they are starting to run out a little bit of forces here so keep that in mind i really wish i could remember what the hell i was gonna say very frustrated that's what I was going to say. Very, very frustrating. So yeah, very even battle here. I think the biggest hope here, the, the best hope for the Oryx is right here. The fact that they rip through the Dwarven defenders in a matter of seconds is really impressive. Now, did he commit the entire force? Yes, he did. Wow, okay. And he's got a catapult, which is moving up. But he's got to watch out for these archers. I would, I would flame on here. Yep. Flame on and try to light these suckers on fire. Get them out of here, off the battlefield. Sin has lost a lot of men. But he's made the most progress in terms of territory captured, I guess you could say. But yeah, here comes the Witch Well rich realm pikemen they're now gonna clean up these reclaimers they've got to finish up the uh let's see the the lead the first first legion pikes and the first legion shield what are they called shieldmen shield guards they're kind of fighting back to back to the last dwarf nice only half the enemy force and this is this perspective of the dwarves so one of the orc armies has lost half of their troops. So I think so far, the biggest mistake from the orcs is that they committed forces over to this side too early, uh, too quickly, uh, which basically is the same thing. So. <laughs> What, what they should have done was sent them over about right now instead of right away. And the reason that's so important is because you make the enemy feel comfortable. As in, oh, they're probably not going to go this way because they have been fighting this one spot the whole time. And then as soon as they put their guard down, I mean, I doubt you would ever get the enemy to completely leave this open. But as soon as they lighten the defense here, then you send in the troops. And then they kind of have to scramble to try to get over back over there. And it causes some confusion and whatnot. So I think that was probably the biggest mistake from the orcs so far. Is that, you know, they, they were too aggressive on that other flank. But it, it wasn't like it didn't do anything. I just think it could have been a little bit better. Uh, but the orcs are starting to thin out over here. They might want to send up more. If we head around the uh, the mines over here. I did see some catapult. Yes, the catapults are in range. They are opening fire. There's a lot of dwarves over here. It's just ripe for the picking. What do we have here? The rich. Okay, we've got... No, no, no. What are these guys? Whoa! I look like friendly fire. Or... Maybe that's a Dwarven Catapult? I'm trying to read... Witch Realm Blackguard. This is the General's Bodyguard. I bet they're so tough to fight. But they got It looks like black shields with blood on it or something. It looks awesome. It's probably just red paint. But yeah, the Dwarves... They Okay, they do have a Catapult here, which is good. Which is great. So gonna, I mean, it's kind of difficult for them to use it because Sin's army is so scattered. Now we got even more dwarves coming in to support this fight. The guards of Khazad Doom. The balance of power is evening out, which is good for the defenders. But it's still a really close one. 
I think Sin was just a little too aggressive there. I think he was just a little too aggressive because now that this back area is pretty much defended, that's one less area they're not going to have to worry about at like at all. So if he was just more patient a little bit and just trickled in troops, used his catapult, you know, let the dwarves blob up against his forces, used the catapult, I think he probably could have killed more. Also, just keeping a lot of dwarves over here occupied, busy, while, you know, the rest of the forces attack. Now look at this army. There's still a giant army with a lot of elite forces, still has trolls. I mean, he still has a ton, but... How nice would it be that, you know, some dwarves are in the back line still worried about this area. Now it's just, it's, they're free to do whatever they want. And now they can also move the catapult over to the other side. Look at all these dwarves. Look at all of them. So yeah, they're, they're going to be able to march over to the other side. And you know, I think the dwarven players realize that they can't defend it. Like, they can't fall back. It's, it's do or die at these choke points. Because if they lose them, then... You know, the, like the inner streets are going to be so much more difficult to defend. Look at these Axemen! First Legion Axe Guard! So they just sent the First Legion to defend these mines. <laughs> That's awesome. More dwarves charging into this mess of a fight. Oh, we got the... Uh, the Hammerers of Gundabad, after finishing off Gundabad, they're going to change their name to the Hammerers of the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. <laughs> Hammerers of the Misty Mountains. Let's see, they got to send in more infantry, though. Got some Bulg's champions here. Oh, man, they look awesome. Holy crap, look at these guys. Oh, my God! How terrifying! Look at these guys! This is like the, the Hobbit movie, man. That looks awesome. They're trying to get some charges in, but that's not going to happen. Too many friendlies in the way. These guys look great. So many new units in this one. Very, very cool. So, uh, while that's going on, do we have anything pushing over to this side? No. That's a negative. Archers are now maneuvering over to the other side of the battlefield to deal with this mass push. Oh wait, what is this? Oh my god! Look at this general! Look at this dude! The horns and everything with the mace! So they are in the town center. How did they get in there? Like what the hell is going on? Don't question it. There we go. He's dead now. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Him, his troops will lose their... He has no troops. They have no... They can't lose the will to fight if they're dead. That's awesome, though. Awesome looking general, but he is dead now. And we're going to get back over to here. To this juicy fight. There we go. Sin of the Dark Cloud admitting defeat there. Doing what he could do best. Uh, so far, 80% of the orcs have died. 59% of the dwarves have died. So a fairly high percentage there between the two forces. But let's be fair. The orcs have a lot of crappy units. Most of their crap units died in the beginning. So the last 20% we're seeing here from the orcs is the better 20%. Top, one, top 20%. That... that performed well in the Orc Military Academy. Just kidding. I doubt they have Academy. Honestly, if you're an Orc and you want to be in an elite unit, it's like one through experience and just like killing a bunch of people or two, you're just like born this like beastly Orc and you kill a lot of people. So either way, you just got to kill a lot of people. And that also includes a lot of other orcs, right? Because the orcs are very brutal. They're very tribal in nature. So they often have their minor clans and they slaughter each other. Look at this, though. 
So while the archers were moving in position, he sends over the mountain trolls to just get any kind of hope. Oh, that's why! He left it undefended completely! The dwarves have been falling back here. He might want to turn around and face it. Oh, and now he's sending some orc hunters. Oh, yes. The orc hunters. Here they go. So cool. Oh, no! Dwarven general has died. Guys, things are turning around fast for these, uh, well, for these goblins. Now 64 to 83, the percentages uh, since the last time, you know, the orcs have killed more, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and the hammer and anvil from Bog's champions, which is causing a lot of breaking in the ranks. And the orcs are finally making their way, walking fast. And there goes the trolls. They're gonna get skirmished down by arrows a little bit, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. They've made it through a completely undefended location, and now these archers are trapped up here and will most likely die a terrible death of getting... Well, I guess it's not terrible. It depends how quick it is, but, like, you see these giant clubs with the spikes coming out of them? One good hit in the skull, you're out of there. So, it's not too bad, but if you're, like, hitting the leg, oh, man just kill me right so yeah there goes the trolls archers switching over to their axes they might bring a couple down my god there's a lot of trolls in here there's 26 wow careful trolls look he's just pondering life he's just like why do we fight there must be more there must be more in this World we live in of pure violence and oh wait, yeah, there, let me go back. I'm hungry <laughs> Like what the hell? He had a moment of enlightenment. I don't know uh, But back over here the orcs have broken through the floodgates have opened And now we're at the final stage of the battle guys the inner defenses. Oh There's a little there's a little Defense over here in this area They're gonna hold this little pass here but if I was the orcs, I wouldn't even go there. I'd just go for the town center. The archers are opening fire. I would get these archers in here. Put them in this little gap. That way it's harder to, to reach them. Come on, retreat your archers, man. Stefan, your archers. Get them out of there. Look at that. He's just like nerves of steel, man. Run! There you go. But yeah, he's got the first legion infantry. They're just chilling out over there. And there we go. This is the final stand at the town center. With some really cool buildings here. The final stand. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Alright, so here comes the trolls. And my god. These archers. They should be called troll hunters. Holy crap. They just destroyed these trolls. And, uh, you know, maybe you need infantry support with trolls. I don't know. But holy crap, that does not seem right. Like, I know these are, like, skilled warriors, but come on. Taking on, like, 26 trolls. Trolls are now down to 13. Just doesn't even seem like it was worth it to charge those archers. Defeat seems almost certain. Here we go. More and more orcs coming through. We got a line of riot police here. <laughs> we got the First Legion Shield Guard. But the reason they're holding... Okay, so he, this is why they're holding these areas instead of just the town center. It's preventing them from being able to go around and attack the other spots. Uh, so that is why he is holding these passes. And that is why the orcs are attacking it. So both armies are exhausted. It's 69 to 84%. That is crazy. The orcs are completely turning this battle around. Amazing. There we go. More orcs running down this way. Getting ready to charge this shield wall of warriors of Gaza Doom. 
Here we go. Charge him, boys. Charge him. Hold the line. Hold the damn line. I guess these archers are out of ammo. They've got the catapult. They do have some archers back here, but I do recommend they use normal rounds. You know, standard shot rather than fire ammo because it's not as accurate and the rate of fire is slower, but it could cause some breakage. And it's kind of hard to miss this big blob. But nice, I like the layered defense because that's going to give a lot of the troops in the back some time to rest up. So instead of just blobbing in all their forces, they're going to have well-rested well troops. Alright, so the trolls won over here. Oh, this is actually pretty ginormous. Look at this. The trolls, by the skin of their teeth, won that engagement against the archers. The troll officers still in this fight, and they're going to flank around and hopefully break these dwarves to give the orcs a chance of flanking around the backside of the town center. Good tidings. Oh! That's Ozog. He's dead. So another general has fallen. That's two orc generals. One dwarven general so far. Oh, I love it. I love it when they stub their toe. They kick. They like kick, but then they like what? I don't know. You guys saw it. It's just funny for a troll. You would think that like if he kicked someone, especially a dwarf, they would just like it's like punting a football. Boom! They just fly off, you know? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, they're not breaking through this. Even with the troll support, these trolls seem pretty useless. Uh, but oh, look at that. They're still sending units around. They sent one unit around. We've lost half of our which is good. He's got the Black Mountain Berserkers. These guys are pretty nasty. So yeah. So the armies are down to half. Got this epic last stand. We're getting close towards the end of the battle. As you guys would know. Because there is, well, you know, the bottom. It shows how long the video is. So you can see how far we ha we've got. The luxury of a viewer, for me, I got no idea. I got, I got a good idea. We got what? Probably about another 10, 15 minutes left in the battle. That's just an estimate. Well, how does it look so good? Am I right? I guess we'll find out. But yeah. <clears throat> and the dwarves doing a great job here. Making it very difficult for these orcs to break through. And that's really been the struggle this entire battle. We got the catapults firing over to this back area. Trying to take out these, these orcs as they push through. Uh, the dwarven defenses, which sure enough they do. Uh, it wasn't a huge dwarven army or force defending this pass, but now the goblins and orcs are going to be able to flank around and uh, get behind some of the orc positioning here. But yeah. So, these, these orcs right here, they desperately need support. Desperately need support. And these guys needed support too, but they got it with the uh, the Black Mountain uh, Black Mountain Berserkers. And look at these look at these dwarves. They're fighting back to back. How awesome is that? That's very awesome. You know what? I don't need to ask you nothing. I know it's awesome. I'm sorry. You guys didn't deserve that. Oh, by the way, it's time. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's timed, and they still have plenty of time. So we're most likely going to see uh, a conclusion. It's not going to just erupt. Uh, uh, it's just not. It's not going to end. Sorry, words are especially hard today because I'm st still sick and my brain's still foggy. Still foggy after all the drugs. Don't do drugs. No, it's just like you know. 
NyQuil and stuff to help me sleep and stuff. But, um, the Reclaimers got their big axes out, taking on uh, the Orc Bodyguard for the Orcs in the Misty Mountains. Some Dwarves are falling back to the inner positions because they realize they are about to be flanked because uh, this defense is failing. Barely. Wait, did the Berserkers just leave? Oh, yeah. They left, but now they're sending in some Cav to charge in. There they go. That's pretty epic. Da -da -da. There we go. Charge! Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Alright, and now the Black Back Mountain Berserkers are gonna flank around and uh, deal with the other side of the defenses. And Will the dwarves hang on? I hope to God, because they're the defenders, and I if I have to read, you know, another defenders never win! Or if it's like the evil army, like orcs defending, and they win, it's like, the, the bad guys always win. It's like, give me a break. Come on. It's like you guys think I, I purposely make it so the defenders always lose. Like, give me a freaking break, all right? No, just kidding. I do do that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I don't, I don't do that. So yeah, they're attacking on multiple flanks. 90% of the orcs have died. 77% of the dwarves have died. Uh, this is a very close battle here, guys. Very close. These black back mountain berserkers are going to need more support over here. As soon as they defeat these guys, like, these guys need to go. But these dwarves, it's like they know, man. They're just like, fight to the bitter end, men. Or dwarves, fight to the better end. For our people, for the mines of Gazan. We fight to the end. Oh! So that's both Dwarven Generals gone, perished on the battlefield. That might cause these guys to break. I don't know, though, because they're elite. But God, they don't, they don't quit. Still have 39 men. They're surrounded, too. Da -da -da. All right, I'm sorry. I need to stop doing that. There we go. A little charge outside. Now we got Sons of the Fallen coming to flank around. Very bold move. Oh! Wait. Wait. What? What? I thought both Dwarven... Wait, 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 wait. I don't know. I thought both Dwarven Generals have died. But I, apparently not. I'm confused. Sorry. You guys probably saw in the video. You're probably like, Apollo. But yeah. Now I think both Dwarven Generals have died. And these Berserkers are just chewing up these archers. Defeat seems almost certain. Orc Hunters closing in. They defeated some uh, flanking Orcs, unfortunately. I'm sure the Cav got out of there. The Bul Bul Bulgs Champions. All right, so let's go back over here. This is, okay, finally, fi yeah, finally, finally, they've broken them. And they're gonna be able to send extra reinforcements to the back lines of the Dwarven defense. So now that this is a bit of a, a grind fest, and let's be honest here, all these battles are grind fest. Uh, but now that it seems like all these strategic uh, maneuvers are not going to happen, it seems more it's just going to be like a last stand here. We're going to go ahead and do times two speed for the sake of getting my estimation right that this is going to be over in 10 minutes. But yeah, times two speed.
So yeah, the orcs still have a decent number over here. They got some trolls closing in. And then back over here, we've got some nice calf flanking around. It's now 93 to 87%. The percentages are almost even now. The dwarves, I'm sorry, the orcs have been crawling and just fighting their way through this to even out those percentages and to try to turn this one around. But yeah, this is going to be all up to the, this cap unit. going to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Um, so yeah. And then we got some, some orcs flanking around on this side just trying to keep as many dwarves occupied. To keep them, you know, unrested. To keep them, you know, not fresh and tired for late for different parts of the battle. Now 94 to 88 percent. Got a general over here. He looks like well, he looks kind of messed up. <laughs> he looks like he's doing the jig right now, the cha-cha slide. What the hell is he doing? Look at him. What are you trying to do to that dwarf, huh? You sicko. Just kill him. Stop playing with your food. Now, now this guy's doing it too. Look at him. What are you trying to do against this dwarf, huh? I love the chains that connect the, ar the armor. That's cool. Just take out that dwarf. He's got a fresh unit of uh, Kazad... Because of Doom Reclaimers, they're they're eager. But yeah, we've got we got a fight on multiple flanks here. There they go. They're pushing. Ninety-five to ninety-one percent now. Uh oh. Uh oh. And the door or the orcs have broken through, and now they're taking out the artillery crew. Not that I I don't think they had ammo because they haven't been firing for a while. But yeah, look at them taking them out so they're flanking around the sons of the fallen which is not good because obviously the sons of the fallen are a pike unit they're a spear unit so they're good in frontal combat but if you get behind them they're pretty much toast there's some dwarves trying to flank around which is a smart maneuver but there's going to be goblins to counter that flank along with this cab unit which has been very important Dwarves are victorious over here, so we got a free unit, fresh unit. They can move to elsewhere. Oh boy, guys. I don't know. 95 to 92%. Will the dwarves have enough? And here's all the miners. The miners have now entered the battlefield. You know that's a bad thing, right? When your objective... That guy just slayed two orcs. They just like walked up and he just... He just chiseled right in their chest, man. That pickaxe just crazy uh but yeah it's always a bad thing when you've got to defend miners and they enter the battlefield you know they fight but you know sometimes you just gotta fight to the death uh they did they did their part i guess they're going to defend this area just in case but yeah sons of the fallen they gotta try to hold as long as possible even though they're outflanked I mean, as the orcs, you might want to go for these guys. I guess they're just running away. Maybe they're going for a flank. I think they're going for a flank. That's crazy. Desperate times, man. Desperate times. I love this troll. The lone troll. Don't die on me. Fight. Fight for me. Fight for my subs. Do it for them. I've been hit. Did you hear that guy? I've been hit. It's like, well, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> Look at this general going in, man. So we're closing in the last couple minutes. The timer is almost spent, guys. Almost spent. So do you know what that means? If the timer runs out, this means that this battle is exactly an hour long. WK, I think he's just hiding them. I think he's hiding them. No, he's flanking around. That's right. He's flanking around. 
Oh my god, this is gonna... Well, no, the dwarves are holding on over here, which is good. Oh no! That's not good. The enemy is no longer in command of the city. The, okay, so now that the general's dead, the morale is gonna be really weak. And that might be the nail in the coffin, guys. That might be it. 98 to 94%. Oh! Yep, there you go. All right, let's do normal speed. Wow, that artillery hit really ended that one, huh? It ended with a bang. And uh, without the general's morale and presence, the forces flee to the safety of the orc homes. And the dwarves, the dwarves are victorious. The defenders, the good guys. Now I don't have to hear about it. This, you know, this, the really good news about this battle is one, I don't have to hear about where's more third age. Two, I don't have to hear about the defenders never winning and the good guys always losing. That defeats all three of those points. So, that's the good news. <laughs> we'll go ahead and just fast forward towards the end because I don't know what's... I guess they're just chasing down an orc unit. There you go. That's... Come on. Come on. This so, yeah, that's... Oh, there we go. So, <laughs> Captain Bulk. Just taking the same name as the orcs. Look at those kills. Holy crap. Holy crap. So, yeah... Sin of the Dark Cloud, he was Azog, uh, Gundabad, only getting 700 kills. I think he was a little too aggressive there, uh, but that's all right. Uh, the, the other two players getting, well, every other three players getting about 1,000 plus. So that was a great, great battle. I really enjoyed that one. I love the scenery. Uh, the map was really cool. Uh, we saw some really interesting tactics of trying to go around this way. Uh, if we look at the kills, though. Uh, for the dwarves, holy crap, 623 from the first legion bikes. Holy crap, 623. That's crazy. Let's see if there's anything. 627, first legion pikes. I think that's saying something about the first legion pikes. They're pretty darn good. But yeah, this was really balanced. I think it was really balanced. So I think any army, any team could have won there. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me once again for another Third Age Total War Reforged Battle Replay. Hopefully the next patch for this mod is coming out and it's gonna be like knock your socks off patch. It's gonna have a lot of new stuff, stuff we're seeing in here, uh, but plus, you know, more and more. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, share, and of course subscribe for more epic battles. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's battle. I'll see you next time on the battlefield.